What is a CMOS? Well, it's an acronym for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. Okay? An oxide is a compound comprised of oxygen and some other material. In this particular case, a metal is combined with oxygen to create a memory chip for a computer or some other electronic device. This particular memory chip stores basic input and output system computer information. Now I'll say that again. This particular memory chip stores basic input and output system computer information. This chip tells the motherboard of the computer what components are attached to the computer and it also tells the computer what the current date and time is. Now most of the time a CR2032 battery is used to supply power to the CMOS chip. Okay. However, smaller devices like smartphones, some weather radios, some regular radios, and some other electronic devices. I know when I was a kid they had things like speak and spell and they would have a an electronic component that would be powered by a particular battery. Okay. Now these types of devices because they are so small are usually not powered by a CR2032 chip but they are powered by a button battery and they're really tall they're really small and they're really round. Okay, so if it's not a 2032 battery, it's going to be something else. It's going to be probably a lot smaller and just as expensive. Okay, and that is what a CMOS chip is. Okay, and that's why certain information will remain stored on certain electronic devices, whereas with other ones, you have to put them in all the time. You have to put in specific information or they don't work. It's just like your Garmin or your TomTom Tom or any other GPS system or anything else for that matter. Okay? If you need information permanently stored in those particular devices, it's going to go through your CMOS chip. It'll be stored on a very sp it'll be stored on a very special chip that will be pa will be powered by a very special battery. Even your glucose meters need these kind of chips. Well, they not only need the chips, but they need the batteries to go along with it. And that's how they work. But that is how a CMOS chip works. I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.